kuwa na birika za maji moto na ndimu yeah. amesema anawapenda sana anasema msalimike sana na tuko live kwenye K24 tuko live all right the switch K24 tunaendelea na ushuhuda wake Esther ambaye mke wake guardian angel na kabla kabla twende top of the hour ulikuwa umesema kwamba kuna wakati kwa hii life Mungu alikupitisha kwenye moto kwenye majaribu Pengine ukitupa tu ushuhuda wako wakati mmoja ambapo ulipitia jaribu ambalo lilikuwa zito sana 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 Mbona sasa hivi ukiangalia unasema yenyewe kutoka hapa ulikuwa ni mungu. Um before ama after? Before or after guardian? <laughs> Tupe moja uh, before alafu sasa tukuje hapa kwa guardian. I think ile kitu imeshawahi ni affect sana hmm. I think kwa maisha yangu ni kifo cha mama yangu. Hmm. Kwa sababu yani sijui mungu vile yeye anatenga vitu lakini <laughs> Mamangu tulienda kumvisit 2016. Kulikuwa mm-hmm. na neighbor wetu alikuwa amefariki. Mm-hmm. So mimi na brother tumezaliwa tu sisi wawili, mimi na brother mm-hmm. tu wawili. Okay. So tukaenda nyumbani, kulikuwa na funeral ya neighbor wetu. Mm-hmm. Alafu huyu mama mwenye alikuwa amekufa, alikuwa na diabetes na hypertension kama mama yangu. Mm-hmm. So uh, vile tulienda nyumbani tukamwambia mama twende funeral lakini mama hapana. Sisi mm-hmm. mimi sio mimi yeye mimi niwafundishe. Na nasikia roho yangu iko chini sana. Mm. I remember that was on a end of Friday. Lakini sasa previously hiyo wiki mm-hmm. uh, vile mamangu aliniinform sasa huyo ni baita amekufa, mm-hmm. mamangu akaniambia nimletee night dress. Night to night dress. Mm-hmm. Mamangu ni hao watu wa kitambo so wakanipea night dress. Mm-hmm. Wacha wacha nikusimamishe tu kidogo mm-hmm. tukiwa na matimbone mm-hmm. tunaweza simama kidogo. Okay. Yeye yeah, nimesimamisha tusimame mm-hmm. kidogo. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ongea kama amesimama yeah. kidogo. Yeah. 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 Right. Asante. Kumi mm-hmm. na baada ya saa sita. Mm-hmm. So uh, mama kwa akakwambia umpelekee night dress. Akaniambia nimpelekee night dress. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda uh, nikaenda shopping nikamtumia mm-hmm. tuna night dress tatu. Naam nikampelekea mm. the first night sababu tulienda na friday mm. nikamfadisha hiyo night dress akafurahi sasa zikabaki mbili nikamfadisha nika, nika akavaa mm. so tukaenda funeral mi na brother yangu tukarudi nyumbani hiyo saturday alafu sunday um, after lunch mm. tukaka tuka, 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 tuka mama yangu sasa tunarudi kazini uh, monday mm-hmm kama waga mamangu tumemwacha vizuri amekaa chini ana watch tv alikuwa anapenda ku watch hizi mother in law hizo maripeti on a sunday afternoon yes tukaenda tukafika Nairobi tukamtupia simu tukamwambia tumefika mm-hmm. na tukalala lakini usiku siku lala vizuri yani kuna ku, roho yangu ilikuwa ina ile inasumbuka ina sana mm. so mali asubuhi kitu saa moja niko na kuna kazi yangu alikuwa anaishi na mama yangu naam ananitupia simu mm-hmm. akashangaa kitu na mbona ananiambia nini saa hizi nikachukua simu sasa zile nilichukua simu kusema hallo akakata mm-hmm. tu nikashangaa ai huu naye ni nini kujaribu kumpigia hashiki naam so nikapigia sasa mtu mwingine mmoja kwa nyumbani mm-hmm. nikamuuliza mambo amenipigia simu hashiki simu mm-hmm. ni nini naye ananyamaza mm-hmm. ndio sasa mzewe kuna mzee mwenye alikuwa anachunga bomba aka aka akanipigia akaniambia mam hayuko so najua mimi nashangaa yani na najaribu kusema ku 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 hayuko ni anasema anamaanisha nini, nini. naam so akaniambia tumepoteza mam ku basi yani nilikuwa nimelala kwa kitanda nilisimama nikapiga duru nikapiga duru house girl wangu akakuja akamuuliza nini. Anaambia, yani niko tu hapo niko confused. Yes. Najaribu kupigia brother yangu simu hashiki. Na huli mama mlikuwa naye the previous day. Previous day. Nimeacha mm. mama vizuri. Mm. Okay, yeye alikuwa na high blood pressure na hypertension lakini she was okay. Mm. Unajua? Mm. Najaribu kupigia brother yangu simu hashiki. Nikasema ah watu hii ni kitu wame, wamejua watakufunga ndio. Mm. Ndio nikapigia brother uh, brother yangu secretary wao nikamwambia tafa nani? najaribu kupigia Fred simu mm. hashiki mm. akaniambia ah Fred hata yuko hapa lakini simu yake iko hapa mm-hmm. wacha niniite mm. so brother yangu kuja nikamuuliza mbona wewe na kupigia simu ni uchukui akaniambia ah nilikuwa na chat simu kwa mwingine mm-hmm. kuna nini nikamwambia unaniuliza kuna nini mm-hmm. nikamwambia ya mimi nimepigiwa simu ati ati mama yuko so pia yeye akashtuka nikamwambia saa hii na dakika hii 
friend kuja hapa ndio mm. sasa unajua sababu ukisoma kwa 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 internet unasikia oh watu wako na blood high blood pressure na diabetes sasa zingine they go into a coma mm. mimi sijui mimi na brada yangu how we drove to machakos i don't know it was by god's grace to go to sisi wawili yes sasa nasema oh hapana hawezi kwa mm. so ku, kupigia daktari mwingine akatwambia pitieni hapa mtupe alafu tuende huko <laughs> so mimi niko kanimani nikaota brada yangu anaenda mimi kasema kwa gate huko kwa sababu sikuwa nataka kusikia ama kuamini kwamba kitu kama hiyo inaiko. So bila dango akakuja nikasikata nikaa sijui wanaume wana struggle vituaje. So maybe yao maybe roho zao ni ngumu kidogo. So mimi niko tu natumbulia natumbulia nataka kuona signs nikasikia bila dango anashangilia SMG. Yaani it was the longest walk of my life kutoka kwa gate mpaka kwa nyumba sana fika hapo kwa room na ukopa nasikia yani roho yangu ni kama inataka kutoka mm. sababu i cannot siwezi kuamini mm. kuangalia sio ya brana yangu nikajiona nishweni mm. so nikaingia pale kwa room nikamwangalia mamangu hapo nimemshika nini mimi unajua unamfanya hivi namwambia mom how unajua mbona yani in mimi imefanyika mm. you know mm. anyway ikakuwa ni hivyo mm. sasa ile kitu ilinisua wale wafanyikazi mm. sababu mamangu alikuwa anamkanga kitu saa tisa anapewa maziwa hiyo mm. night sasa ndio akuja kukupa uh, monday morning mm. akawaambia mimi kuanzia kesho sitaki kuwasumbua mimi mnanichemshia maziwa mnakuja mnani hapa mimi kiamka saa tisa zangu majikuni mimi nilikuwa kuambia kuanzia leo anafanya nini mimi mm. alafu sasa huyo mmoja wa wazee alikuwa anaisha akasema mama aliwaita hiyo siku akawaambia mm. ati ameona watu watatu mm. yule aliamka ameona watu watatu hapo anaamka na vaa nguo za white ni kama wao So after to ambio hiyo story nikasema eh hey, mama wangu alinikoja tukuje mrudi wage mm. yani tuonane na wewe mwisho both mm. mimi na brada yangu tuna celebrate birthdays mm. in May mm. brada yangu alicelebrate birthday yake on May 2nd mm. May 25th mamako mm. 31 wow hey. 19 baada ya saa sita, mm. this is a moment ambayo it was a very heavy moment it was basi oh. in three days nilikonda mwensi kama hizi ili mi affect because my mom was my pillar mm. i looked to my mom for strength she was everything in my life mm. so nilisikia ni kama a part of my life has just mm. died how, how did you overcome that moment um mpaka sasa hivi mahali ambapo umefika although things as he ndangi back to the way they were mm. but there is there is a way you you have to move on will you overcome the pain i think what i decided mm. i will not mourn my mom like that i will celebrate her mm. but i used to be affected unajua i had a routine kila saa tano i used to call my mom mm. so nikiwa office ikifika saa tano hivi naanza yani i burst out because it was such a routine that I have to call my mom at 11 every day. Yeah. But what I chose is to celebrate her life because mm. she was a woman worth fighting for. Mm. So si kusema her death ndio ile affect mm. because I lost her. Mm. But I celebrated her for the life that she lived and the woman she was. Wow. Na sasa hivi kuna wale ambao wanasikiliza ndani ya Milele FM and overcoming grief is not easy. Mm na kuna wale ambao sasa hivi bado wana battle na hili swala la ku overcome grief pengine waliwapoteza wapendwa wao ama sasa hivi pengine wanaomboleza wameupoteza wapendwa wao what can you tell them I think me ile kitu ilinisaidia sana ni kwa mamangu alikuwa ni mtu anaomba sana mm-hmm. na through even deaths za watu wengine kwa family mm-hmm. siku muona ikimu affect so nikasema kama mama yangu aku 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 hizo vitu hazikumu 
because even when her mother died, mm -hmm. I saw what happened to her. Mm -hmm. But it, I could, I could, it, it didn't bring her down. Mm -hmm. I think what she, 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 she dwelt on is prayer because my mom was so prayerful. Na kuimba. My mom was akitoka inji akisha kuna breakfast na chukua tukia kia po anaimba hizi ni moza kenji zote. So I think that is how I've also been able to overcome. And, and I, people mourn differently. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Like this, mourn like this. Yeah. But for me, yeah. Miliamua, I will celebrate her life. Yes. But not yani sita iwe kampaka ini depressed mm -hmm. ama nini because mm -hmm. that is that I don't think that is what she would have wanted from me. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, so kuna kule kule let go. Nam yes, let go but I let, she celebrate. Yes, I let her go. I mm -hmm. let her go because I know she's with the angels mm -hmm. and the angels are taking care of her. Mm -hmm. So me I chose to just celebrate her. Wow. That is a heavy one. Like it on a hashtag Shangwe na utukufu. Sasa mda usoko mrefu tokuwa tunarejia tuweze kujua Esther likuta na vipi na guardian angel na jie maisha yao ya mekua vipi kufikia maana mbapo umefika sasa. Masibone, tukona dakika zingine bado tatu. Yes. So tunaweza ngelea kabla tu aje wana children so na vyo tukiwaaga gadi ya naje hapa aje hapa pia waage awaage pia ndiyo tuweza kwenda tumebakisha daika kama tatu yes so tukamkaribisha pia ndugu gadi ya apitia hapa asante na gadi ya nakija kuonjesha tu wana k24 kwenye shangu na utukufu utakua tunaendelea esther how did you meet gadi ya gadi ya yani vitu zingine to say me too, there are things that you pray not knowing they will be a reality. Mm. My when I when I was standing 50, when I was 49, to say me too 49, in yes. the December ya 49, sababu sisi Christmas ni watu naenda nyumbani, mimi watoto watoto wangu, brother wangu, mm -hmm. we are small family. Mm -hmm. So all Christmas is vile tuko tumezoea all year. Mm 